video I'll be showing you guys how to disable voice control using SSH. Uh, I found a app on Zetia which disables the voice control using the info.plst list. Well, what that does is it slows down your device rapidly and I didn't find that very useful because I deleted a uh, voice control because I wanted to have a faster iPhone. So what I did was I went to iFile. I went to iFile and I navigated to System, Library, Core Services, Springboard app. And then what I did was I navigated to like N887D uh, list or something like that. And I disabled uh, voice control to false. That was kind of laggy, so I found another way to do this. As you can see, my voice control. Is working now, and I'm going to show you guys how to delete this permanently. So, what you want to do is go and open up SSH, and you want to navigate to System Library and Launch Daemons. Before you do get this started, you want to go ahead and uh, copy this to your desktop on this because if this messes your device up, then uh, you will need to do a full restore and such uh, as a brick iPhone. So what you want to do is just drag that outside just in case this doesn't work. So right now I'm using a iPhone 3GS running on iOS 4 jailbroken. So what you want to do is when you launch Daemons, you want to go and scroll down till you see... There it is. Till you see com the apple just com the apple scroll dot p l i s t list. Right click it and delete it. Okay. Right after you delete it, you're going to go back to your iPhone. You're going to do a respring. I'll come back to you guys when my when my finishes uh, restore. So after you respring, uh, you will still have voice control. So just like this, and what you are going to do is go and open up iFile, navigate to System Library. Core Services, Springboard.app, and scroll down and navigate to the N88 something. Uh, Alright, and navigate to this file right here N88APPL list. You want to go and search voice, and that's all you want to do. Then you just click on cancel. Then you guys see voice control right here. And it's on uh, true. You want to go and click on edit and click on that. You want to make it false. Alright, after you make it false, you can save it. You can respring it. I'll come back to you guys when it finishes the restore. Alright, so I'm back and let's see how the voice control works now. Click on the home button. There you go, and I'll put the iPhone next to Mike, so I'll prove you guys that I am clicking on the home button.
I just pressed it, I'll release it, and nothing there. So that's how you disable voice control for your iPhone 3GS. This should work with the iPod Touch 3G and the iPhone 4. So thanks for watching.